Kane Kendall from Raw Seafoods. Kane flew all the way in from Boston this morning or last night. This morning. This morning. He's a little groggy, but you'll definitely hear the you definitely hear the thick accent come out at some point. So come on up and tell us all about your stuff. How's everybody? Hey, we have a live group. That's awesome. <laughs> um, from Boston, Mass. I've been with uh, Raw Seafoods for over eight years now. Um, primarily, scallop processor. If you see the raw seafoods cans in the restaurants, uh, hotels, retail chains, that's us. Um, not going to touch on scallops today, but that doesn't mean afterwards if you've got questions about sea scallops, make sure to stop, say, Kane, got some questions, quality concerns, answers. I'll give you all the info that you need. Um, partnered with Truje about five years ago, been a great partner. and. A value partner for us because the same challenges he faces as a processor we face it so we're trying to make sure that you guys are getting the freshest quality possible and getting here in a timely manner so just stick with us and um, I'm going to touch on northeast fish today because there's a lot of gray area on especially the type of flat fish that we can provide also ground fish so I'm going to first start off with a question does anybody know what scra is anybody it's a daily white fish, right? <laughs> what describe? It's delicious. Oh, okay. There you go. Well, up in New England, everybody says daily scrod for sale. Scrod is not a fish. It is actually a size. It denotes a size. Um, market cod, one of the main items that we carry out of the Northeast. It's all dragger caught. Um, we're primarily sourcing top of the trip product, looking for um, stuff that's still in rig bleeding from the gills, still, that's the type of quality that we're looking to buy. We use auctions, uh, there's four auctions up in Massachusetts. We're there at 3 a.m. grading the fish, looking at it, smelling it, touching it, making sure the meat's firm. And when we're grading it, you have four different sizes. You got whale, large, market, and scrot. Scrot is a size, it means nothing else. So when you come to New England, people say scrot's the special. Say, what type of fish is it? Is it haddock, is it hake, is it pollock? So that's just a, a good example of, um, of how there's some misconception of what scrot is. Anybody got any questions about codfish? I mean, it's pretty explanatory. It's a whitefish, delicate. Um, it does carry parasites. Anybody ever seen worms in cod? No. There's one. Anybody else? What we do is um, after we fillet the fish, we actually put it on a candling table. They got a, a light underneath it and glows up through the fillet, so we actually have to pick parasites out. Not all cod has parasites, but in some areas, wherever they're fishing, there will be parasites. And that's just a natural wild product. It's not going to kill you, but that's just nature of the beast. So just give you a heads up on that. If you ever see it, it's normal. Okay. Yep, got it. All right, haddock. Texas, I don't think it's a big haddock country, but in the Northeast it is. Just a, another item that you can run a special on. Typically, we leave it skin on up in the Northeast, and we do that because we can denote that it's different than codfish. Haddock has no parasites, and in a lot of people's mind, it's also a sweeter, tastes better, mild, flaky fish. Um, you don't get a lot of size, though, out of haddock. It's predominantly going to be that scrod size, so you're going to get an 8 to 12 ounce filet. And then some other species that's going to be um, uh, in the ground fish category is pollock. It's a value fish. Um, a lot of people buy Alaskan frozen pollock, but we do have a Northeast Atlantic pollock. If you're looking for a special to run an ad for something that's a value, it's a great, great item to run for a special. Meat tends to be a little bit darker on it. Doesn't carry many parasites, um, and you can get some size on it. You can get a nice size fillet and get a 16 ounce up fillet on it. Hakefish is another one, not known in this area, but it is another delicate white fish, a good substitute, a good value, and a good price. So if you're ever looking for an East Coast fish to run a special one, these would be two great items. You can forecast them really well, get them down here, and, and run a hot special on them. I wanted to show this because of the, um, the different types of cuts that we have on the fillets. We have a full nape, a half nape, and a J cut. A lot of times this runs into, why is my price more? Because when you have a full nape, you're actually getting a better yield. Made it. 
Um, so with a full name product, Is that better? Can you guys hear me? Do I need to talk in the mic? You guys tell me you can't hear me. <laughs> um, with the full name product, it's, it's not 100% usable. What it actually is, is the belly flap on the fish that's left on. Some people like it because they can put it into a chowder, fish cake, or whatnot. Um, and then a lot of people do a half name. You can see right there where it's cut off, and then a J cut. All the fillets that we pack are a J cut, so it's 100% usable. It's not. It's going to be in the in the price of the fish. We're going to get a lower yield, but guess what? We have a 100% usable product, and that's for all the products that we just went through: the cod, the haddock, the pollock, and the hake. So you have to worry about that little belly flap. You're going to throw it away, and you're paying for it, and it's a loss. All right, we're going to go into flounders. I might confuse some people here, but um, there's four main species that come out of the Northeast. It's yellowtail flounder. Sea dabs, fluke, and blackback flounder. You guys are probably used to your golf flounder. Everybody know what golf flounder looks like, which I call fluke. So I'll show you a video, oh, well, a little clip of it here in a minute. But um, for sole fish, typically yellowtail flounder, huge in the New York, New Jersey market, but a great sole fillet. It's really nice, um, nice and white and sweet tasting. And that's typically what I try to sell people on. For, um, for if they're trying to roll a, roll a fish into like a stuffed flounder, is using either the yellowtail or the sea dabs. You can see the flays are very nice and light versus where you get into blackback flounder, you're gonna get that darker side. That's actually the, the brown side of the fish. You're gonna get a thicker yield on that, on that side versus the bottom, so it's nice thick meat, but you have the discoloration. If you're a retail, um, if you're a retail application, Sometimes going back to the sea uh, dabs or the yellowtails because they're lighter. People aren't coming up to the case and going, ooh, that thing's old, it's brown. I don't like it the way it looks. And then you're going to be stuck with all the dark side of the fillets. But for the restaurant usage, the winter flounder as well as the summer flounder, which is the Gulf Fluke, or similar to the Gulf Fluke, but that comes out of the Northeast. So this is a great application. Um, to substitute in for the gulf flounders that you have in this neck of the woods. And then monk and skate. Anybody use monk? Got a few guys. Um, I buy predominantly day boat monk, so it's still bleeding when it comes off the boats. There's some lower grade monk that comes off the scallop boats. Um, you gotta think monk and skate and moniate really quick, so we're buying top of the trip, trying to give you as much shelf life as possible. Keep in mind, if you ever buy skate, it's something that you want to work with your sales rep to try getting it in as soon as possible uh, and not letting it sit around. So try to time it perfectly. It's just one of those species that it just turns really, really quick. But another Northeast option is being able to run specials with the, uh, the monkfish, which we're able to cut into loins, as well as skate. There's three different types of skate, or the way we process it, there's three different types. There's skate wings, which we can leave the skin on, and the bone in. There's also a peeled skate, skinless bone in, and then there's skate filet, which has that cartilage removed as well as the skin removed. And then I also wanted to show PF. Um, we really don't do any PF with Fruget right now, but I just want to offer it. We do a lot of PF cod, PF haddock, and PF sole. Um, the reason why I wanted to show you is because with the way the auction works, it changes every single day. It, and it can fluctuate from me buying whole fish at a buck to the next day being 250, and that changes fillet prices from anywhere from four bucks all the way up to 10 bucks a fillet. And I mean that's how drastic changes can happen overnight. So going with a PF product gives you a nice stable price. You can run ads with it. You can know for the weekend I want to run a special, and you know what you're going to pay for it. Something we don't do. But if you have any questions, uh, I can work with Brad as well as Richard. See if that's uh, an item you would like to carry. That's it. Anybody got any questions? Put you guys all to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> more confused. Thank you guys.